Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Mike Thompson. Amy DuPont has a night off. It's been decided the old Kmart property is going to be converted into a multi-use development that includes housing and commercial use. News 8 Now's Kate Overton attended tonight's public engagement meeting. He joins us now live in the studio with more. Kate. Copper Rocks, that's the name the developers came up with for the multi-use development. And there's still a lot of details to work out, but if all goes to plan, they hope to break ground by the end of the summer. Eight months ago, 360 Real Estate held its first community engagement meeting regarding the Kmart property and what to do with it. Tonight, they took what the community said and turned it into a detailed concept. We want it to be a positive impact in the neighborhood. We want it to positively impact the community. And so what better way to do that than organically to actually ask and find out what people want to see there versus us coming in top down and saying this is what should happen here. Copper Rocks will be a multi-use complex with multiple buildings. and The development has three primary focuses, housing, commercial use, and some unique workspace. We're going to put some incubator business offices in here. Um, with the pandemic and the, how things have changed, we know that there's a, a demand driver for small office space. People can get out of their house and have a, a small office, uh, have a little bit of separation from home and, and work. Jeremy Novak, the project manager for the development, Welcome. says he has a very yeah, aggressive timeline. Then, then. He wants to break ground on the project by late summer. But he also knows there are some big challenges that could get in the way. You know, other concern that we have on the, on the risk is uh, interest rates, uh, the inflation that we're, we're seeing, and supply chain and materials uh, back up. So there's certain things that are, are challenging to get right now, and there's very long lead times. Despite the aggressive timeline, Novak says what's most important is doing the project the right way and not rushing it. Now, after the presentation, I was walking around speaking with many community members who attended the meeting to see what they thought. And they still had a lot of questions about the finer details, like how many people is the housing going to hold and how many stories will the buildings be? But 360 Real Estate says they're still working out those details and are going to hold another community engagement meeting towards the end of February with those answers. Mike. All right, thanks a lot, Cade. And for any questions or comments about this new development, you can email the developers. We'll have that information on our website, news8000.com.